on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to new video guys today is the day we head back over to Norris place I actually just finished my registration for the car again um, so I had to renew it so I have my registration right here so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on right now uh, it's like the new sticker that you put on the license plate I'm gonna do that real quick and then once I do that we're gonna go ahead and head over to Norris place I have to help him pick up the 135 I believe so I'm just gonna go ahead and take you guys along with me Alright guys, so we just made it to Norris house, um, so I'm going to go ahead head out in there and then I think we're going to go pick up the 135, um, the water pump. I don't know if you guys remember from a while back, uh, one of my videos, coolant was leaking out. He had the water pump replaced, so that's what we're going to pick up. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead head over there. Alrighty guys, so um, we've been having a problem with my car, <laughs> so... Why did it come up again? I Okay, so it just randomly came up, so the brake lights, like one of them was actually broken. So this one was broken, so I replaced them both with LEDs, but now I'm getting this weird error where like, anytime I step on the brake, like it pops up that like my brake lights are out. Because they're aftermarket, right? Yeah, because they're aftermarket. Yeah, they're and it's so annoying, so I just want to coat it out. Yeah, I know, I need did that. Did you do that? Yeah. That's so sick. I need to update it though. Okay, that's the it's, old IG. It's weak whip snap. But you use the same wrap as your car, right? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> like how you're I, rethinking it. Wait, it looks like it. the same. I don't I know. I think I think Erlon gave it to me actually. For real? Yeah. Now that I think about it, I think Erlon gave it to me. But yes, yeah, sir. So uh, it goes down there, sir. <sighs> oh, it's hot, bro. It's so hot. Yeah. So let's see if I can get the. Uh, I think it's only if the car's on. It just needs me. Oh, see there. There we go. Oh, Left brake lamp malfunction. It just pops up randomly and it's so annoying, dude. When I'm driving, I get ding. I'm like, ah, oh, what is it this time? Oh, it's the same thing. Ding. Ah, oh, what is it this time? Oh, yeah. So it, it's just like. <laughs> it's just because gross. the sound could be like a check engine sound or it could be like yeah, you're out of gas. Then. You never know. It's the same sound. Yeah. Anywho, so yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and connect to the car. And then um, there is an option, which is kind of cool on Carly, that let's just say you don't have, like, you. Your car came with fog lights, and you don't want fog lights anymore. You added like an M Sport bumper that doesn't have fog lights. You can code it out to where it won't give you fog light errors. And uh, with the same feature, it allows you to do it where if you put like aftermarket uh, headlight bulbs or tail light bulbs like Jonathan did, you won't have that constant error because it's 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 a, it's putting out a higher voltage, mm -hmm. and the car is not used to that. So it's like, oh, okay, well that's not right. So every time Jonathan puts his foot on the brakes and it activates the lights, it's like, hey. That's not right. That was an error. Dude, it's so annoying though, it's bro. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. It's actually diagnosing your car right now, so I guess we're gonna check if you have any other issues at the same no, time. Nah. <laughs> Hopefully not. I mean, you already have it's 17 like... at 40 people. That's normal though. Everyone that's, has that's, a lot I of think... background codes. Yeah, it's just background codes though. Yeah, especially your major. car is tuned, so like I feel like there will be a couple things just because yeah. it's tuned. Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, guys. So uh, the health status. Says it's very bad, 45 issues found, so driver assistant, actuator wheel defect, camera FOV blocked, camera FOV disturbed by weather. Uh, just a lot of random crap, honestly, so. All right, guys, so we have this tank venting code, so I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram, but I posted a picture, I'll go ahead and throw it up, um, of a code that I got, and I think I fixed it with like, my gas cap, so I think my gas cap was a little bit loose and it was causing the code because it hasn't popped back up and I've been driving it for almost uh, like five or six days now. So I don't know if this is what that is right here, um, but we have some other things. Air mass plausibility. Engine power is too high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Um, literally says my engine power is too high, but I'm tuned, so I guess that makes sense. So, okay, for the engine, there's not too much stuff. I think for the most part, everything's pretty much good. Driver assistant, that's what I'm like. I don't understand that stuff. Yeah, I think it's funny though. It says my engine is creating too much power. It says engine power is too high. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and clear all these codes, I guess. Let's see if this fixes anything. Bro, it said my engine power was too high. 
<laughs> Let me shut my yeah, entrance. No, BMW, anything that's like voltage or anything that's too high, it's like, uh, that's not supposed to be like that. It's like engine output is too high. I'm like, hey, <laughs> there we go. You're like, Jonathan's like, we're doing something right here. We're doing something right here. <laughs> something I added boosted the horsepower. <laughs> so I'm just clear, clearing the codes. Okay, so. Cool, cool. So now the next time, like let's just say you check in about a month, mm -hmm. any code that shows up here is actually codes that are caused from... Actually real codes. Real codes. Yeah. Any of these could have been stored for God knows how long, for when your battery died, it just threw some random faults, you know, random stuff like yeah. that. All right, guys, so we just went ahead and turned off all the warning lights for, like, any voltage stuff. So I guess let's go ahead and turn on the car, see what happens. See if it pops up. It still popped up. Okay, let me scan and see what it is. Yeah. Dio, yeah, are the lights on? Can you check if the brake lights are on? Yeah. Oh, they're on. I'm pressing it. Let off the brake? Yeah, they work fine. They work fine, right? Oh, that's why I don't understand. Like, it works fine. Well, if the aftermarket bulbs, sometimes they give errors, or it could be the board that's on. Mm -hmm. uh, the board sometimes go bad. Maybe or, the, the or the bulb is loose on the board. No, I, I made sure it was tight. It was tight? The REM module. Oh, REM. Okay, so we found the warnings, guys, so... It was under the REM module. REM module, so, so we're turning that off now, right? Brake light, right. Yeah, it was both on. Okay, they're so both on. So I just on. turned them both off. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So code. Does the car have to be off? Nah, it'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> you see the ECU just smoke coming up? <laughs> Actually, we shouldn't joke like, like that because uh, it, it will happen. That's covered on warranty. I, I just did. Covered on warranty. <laughs> no, honestly, I do all my coding when the car is on. Yeah. Because my batteries are normally are really bad in my cars. <laughs> so if you, if you code and your car just dies, when that's have, terrible. When, when you have too many cars, that the battery is the least of your concern for each one. Because <laughs> I don't drive them all enough. Should be good. Okay, should be good. Turn so let's go ahead and turn off the car. Turn off completely. Should be off. Click one more time. Alright, and go ahead and turn on the car now. Should pop up like this, if it is on. I think it's good. Yeah. Turn on. Thank God, bro. Oh, I thought it came back. It's, go it's gone, dude. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that was the bro, one. Bro, it's gone. Thank okay. God, bro. That thing was such a pain. I don't know if you guys understand, but like literally anytime I drove the car and pressed on the brake, ding! I'm like, oh, heart attack every single time, bro. It's so yeah. bad. But it's good. It's gone now, so I'm glad about that. Thank you for helping me. I got you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. So if you guys ever need to get rid of some of those lights on your dash, go ahead, get Carly or even Beamer Code. I think you can do it on there too. Um, and you can get rid of any of those like annoying lights on your dash. I really needed to do it because it was seriously every single time I pressed on the brake, it would pop up. Glad I finally got that solved. If you guys enjoyed the video in any way, make sure to give it a like down below. Make sure to subscribe while you guys are at it. It would really, really help me out. Make sure to check me out on Instagram as well. I would go ahead and leave up my Instagram. And without further ado, remember stay safe, stay happy and stay in that project car. I will catch you guys later.